A top 10 matchup, a top 15 clash, and Arizona State's first conference series at home. They're all ahead as we preview the weekend in this edition of the NCHC Morning Skate. Week two of the conference slate features one of the best matchups in the country as number one Denver opens its NCHC schedule at number nine and number 10 North Dakota. The Pioneers improved to 10-0 this season with a sweep of independent Lindenwood last weekend, winning by identical 4-1 scores at Magnus Arena. DU is one of just three teams in the NCAA, including rival Colorado College, to be unbeaten and untied this year. Sophomore Sam Harris scored three goals against the Lions, including both game winners, to pick up NCHC Forward of the Week honors. He leads the NCAA with nine goals this year and has points in seven straight games, a career best. His teammate, senior Matt Davis, was the goaltender of the week, allowing one goal in each game for a 953 save percentage that led all NCHC goalies. North Dakota opened NCHC play on the road last weekend, sweeping Minnesota Duluth 7-3 and 4-1 at Amsoil Arena. Sophomore Jake Livanovich had three assists in Friday's win and added two more in Saturday's victory to lead all UND players in points. He also blocked three shots and was plus three in the series to earn NCHC Defenseman of the Week. Denver is off to the best start through 10 games in school history. These will be the 311th and 312th all-time meetings between the two rivals. Last season, North Dakota won three of the four meetings with DU's lone win coming in overtime at home. Our top 15 matchup this weekend has number eight Colorado College visiting number 11 and 13 Western Michigan. As noted, CC is unbeaten this year, going 8-0 to start the season, its best start since 1956-57 when the Tigers last won a national title. Last weekend, CC spoiled Arizona State's NCHC debut by sweeping the Sun Devils at Robeson Arena 4-3 in overtime and 3-1 to pick up five conference points. Zachariah Wisdom scored the OT winner in the opener, and Caden Imberico made 41 saves to secure the sweep the next night. Western Michigan got off to a 2-0 start in NCHC play with a sweep at Omaha last weekend. Alex Bump had a goal and an assist in Friday's 2-1 win at Baxter Arena. He repeated the feat the next night with an empty netter and an assist in a 4-2 win. That improved the Broncos to 5-1 overall to start the season. Last year, the Tigers and Broncos split the season series with each winning both games on the road. CC got both of its victories in overtime. Also this weekend, Arizona State hosts its first NCHC series by welcoming Omaha to Mullet Arena. As noted, the Sun Devils dropped both ends of their first NCHC series last weekend at Colorado College. Noah Beck had a goal and an assist for ASU in Friday's loss to the Tigers. He ranks second nationally among D-men with 12 points this season. The Mavericks head to the desert trying to snap a six-game losing streak. Their losses to Western Michigan last week were similar to three of their previous four. In this stretch, Omaha has three one-goal losses and another by two goals, one of which was an empty netter. Zach Erdahl leads UNO with four goals and six points. These will be just the third and fourth home games for the Sun Devils, who have already played eight road games. The two teams played once in non-conference action last year, with ASU beating Omaha 2-1 in overtime to win its own Desert Hockey Classic Tournament. You play three top ten teams, and you know we feel like we're right there with all of them. You know, and, and, and just a, a couple of mistakes that that you make, puck management mistakes that, that are so easily correctable. And, 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 and uh, I know our guys have a not to make them. Yeah, like I said, our record could easily be flipped. We have to just focus on what's ahead of us, and um, and that's Omaha. Our guys are still confident. Our guys still believe in each other, and we believe in them. And um, we're excited to come out and do it on Friday. Finally, Miami returns to Steve Cady Arena to host Minnesota Duluth. The Red Hawks lost to St. Cloud State 3-2 in overtime and 3-1 in their first conference games of the season last weekend. On Friday, MU battled back from a 2-0 deficit to force overtime and earn a point, only to lose in the last 19 seconds of the extra frame. UMD is also trying to bounce back after losing twice at home to North Dakota last weekend. Anthony Mangini had all three of the Bulldogs' goals in Friday's 7-3 setback for his first collegiate hat trick. Miami enters the weekend at 3-7-2, having played a conference high 12 games. UMD is 3-6. When these two teams met last season, the Bulldogs won three games, with the other game ending in a tie and a UMD shootout win. Here are the conference standings after the first week. UND and Western picked up six points with their sweeps, while CC and St. Cloud State have five by virtue of one win each coming in overtime. 
There is plenty of hockey to watch this weekend, with all four series being carried live on nchc.tv, the official streaming platform of the conference. And be sure to check out nchchockey.com for the latest scores, stats, and standings. More points are on the line this weekend in the pursuit of the Penrose Cup. Thanks for watching the NCHC Morning Skate.